today's lesson is Lesson 95 from the Workbook of A Course in Miracles. Lesson 95. I am one self united with my Creator. I am one self united with my Creator. Today's idea accurately describes you as God created you. You are one within yourself and one with Him. Yours is the unity of all creation. Your perfect unity makes change in you impossible. You do not accept this and you fail to realize it must be so only because you believe that you have changed yourself already. You see yourself as a ridiculous parody on God's creation. Weak, vicious, ugly and sinful, miserable and beset with pain. Such is your version of yourself. A self divided into many warring parts, separate from God and tenuously held together by its erratic and capricious maker to which you pray. <laughs> it does not hear your praise, for it is deaf. It does not see the oneness in you, for it is blind. It does not understand you are the Son of God, for it is senseless and understands nothing. We will attempt today to be aware only of what can hear and see and what makes perfect sense. We will again direct our exercises toward reaching your one self, which is united with its creator. In patience and in hope, we try again today. <laughs> the use of the first five minutes of every waking hour for practicing the idea for the day has special advantages at the stage of learning in which you are at present. It is difficult at this point not to allow your mind to wander if it undertakes extended practice. You have surely realized this by now. <laughs> you have seen the extent of your lack of mental discipline and of your need for mind training. It is necessary that you be aware of this, for it is indeed a hindrance to your advance. Frequent but shorter practice periods have other advantages for you at this time. In addition to recognizing your difficulties with sustained attention, you must also have noticed that, unless you are reminded of your purpose frequently, you tend to forget about it for long periods of time. <laughs> You often fail to remember the short applications of the idea for the day, and you have not yet formed the habit of using the idea as an automatic response to temptation. Structure, then, is necessary for you at this time, planned to include frequent reminders of your goal and regular attempts to reach it. Regularity in terms of time is not the ideal requirement for the most beneficial form of practice in salvation. It is advantageous, however, for those whose motivation is inconsistent and who remain heavily defended against learning. We will therefore keep to the five minutes an hour practice periods for a while and urge you to omit as few as possible. Using the first five minutes of the hour will be particularly helpful since it imposes firmer structure do not, however, use your lapses from this schedule as an excuse not to return to it again as soon as you can. There may well be a temptation to regard the day as lost because you have already failed to do what is required. This should, however, merely be recognized as what it is, a refusal to let your mistakes be corrected and an unwillingness to try again. The Holy Spirit is not delayed in His teaching by your mistakes. He can be held back only by your unwillingness to let them go. Let us therefore be determined, particularly for the next week or so, 
to be willing to forgive ourselves for our lapses in diligence and our failures to follow the instructions for practicing the day's idea. This tolerance for weakness will enable us to overlook it rather than give it power to delay our learning. If we give it power to do this, we are regarding it as strength and are confusing strength with weakness. When you fail to comply with the requirements of this course, you have merely made a mistake. This calls for correction and nothing else. To allow a mistake to continue is to make additional mistakes based on the first and reinforcing it. It is this process that must be laid aside, for it is but another way in which you would defend illusions against the truth. Let all these errors go by recognizing them for what they are. They are attempts to keep you unaware of your one self, united with your creator, at one with every aspect of creation, and limitless in power and at peace. This is the truth, and nothing else is true. Today we will affirm this truth again and try to reach the place in you in which there is no doubt that only this is true. Begin the practice periods today with this assurance offered to your mind with all the certainty that you can give. I am one self, united with my creator, and one with every aspect of creation, and limitless in power and in peace. Then close your eyes and tell yourself again, slowly and thoughtfully, attempting to allow the meaning of the words to sink into your mind, replacing false ideas. I am one self. Repeat this several times and then attempt to feel the meaning that the words convey. I am one self. I am one self. You are one self, united and secure in light and joy and peace. You are God's son, one self with your Creator and one goal, to bring awareness of this oneness to all minds, that true creation may extend the allness and the unity of God. You are one self, complete and healed and whole, with power to lift the veil of darkness from the world and let the light in you come through to teach the world the truth about yourself. You are one self, in perfect harmony with all there is and all that there will be. You are one self, the Holy Son of God, united with your brothers in that self, united with your Father in His will. Feel that one self in you and let it shine away all your illusions and your doubts. This is yourself, the Son of God himself, sinless as its creator. With his strength within you and his love forever yours. You are one self and it has given you to feel this self within you and to cast all your illusions out of the one mind that is this self, the holy truth in you. Do not forget today. We need your help, your little part in bringing happiness to all the world. And heaven looks to you in confidence that you will try today. Share then its surety 
for it is yours. Be vigilant. Do not forget today. Throughout the day, do not forget your goal. Repeat today's idea as frequently as possible and understand each time you do so, someone hears the voice of hope. The stirrings of the truth within his mind, the gentle rustling of the wings of peace. Your own acknowledgement that you are oneself united with your Father, is a call to all the world to be one with you. To everyone you meet today, be sure to give the promise of today's idea and tell him this, you are one self with me, united with our Creator in this self. I honor you because of what I am and what he is, who loves us both as one. That's lesson 95. I am one self united with my creator. If you'd like to read my commentary on the workbook this year, go to amytorresason.com and click on Amy's blog. Namaste.